well here in Bulls Gap and I found a northbound train uh, it ain't got no head end on it zero pounds per square inch that's the EOT there's no air test button on this one it just constantly shows you a reading of your air pressure there's no head end right now but that's your blinking rear end device and he's on the main and he probably sees a good one train a day each way but I'll go down a little further and check out and see what rides are available but outside Bulls Gap right now and there's the crew getting on That's a southbound going to Spartanburg. New fresh crew. Well, there's three of them, so they're going to be doing some working. Yeah crew change but I think he's got some yard work to do before they head south that snow coming out of them trees all them flowers Here he comes now. That's the Q392, I believe. He'll work this, he'll work this train hopefully and I can get on. See if I see a worker down in the yard. He may be going on. Yep, he's gone. Crap. I should have been down a little further.
Well, I'll go to another hop. Uh, here we go with the same train that left Kingsport. We may be stopping. Ten years ago, I could catch that. Good ride right there. Well, I got some walking to do. I'm gonna walk down and see if I can't get any closer to it. All right, at Alta Pass, North Carolina, I was gonna show you a, a, a railroad track detector. This uh, CSX defect detector, it detects, this one right here detects dragging equipment if a train comes along and it's dragging a decoupler bar or a derailed wheel, it'll it'll trigger this to fold over either way, depending on what direction you're going. It's this whole bar will either go this way or that way, and it sends a signal up and out, and it broadcasts it over the radio so the engineer and the dispatch can tell exactly where the defect is and uh, the tunnels just right up around the corner here now there's also uh, 
a temperature measure right here it measures the temperature of the axles as the train rolls over and if it's too hot they know they got brakes are dragging got the other temperature detector and infrared it's reading the temperature as the wheels go over and the same thing with that if it's too hot or there's something wrong it sends a signal out one of these boxes over here but anyway this is going downhill into uh, North Carolina down into Spartanburg eventually to Savannah now the horseshoe curves back behind me a ways back to where the tunnel is it's sunshine out so I can't really tell where to aim the camera at but anyway that's your you ever hear on the radio where it says UP detector mile post blah 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 or CSX track detector defect detector that's what's going off when you hear it all right I was hoping there'd be one of these track oilers up in the mountains where you have high curved areas like the curve right here we're in the Smoky Mountains right now so and then the curve way down there you have these track oilers now right here behind me there's a big container a big barrel of oil in there you can see where it comes out of the hose and right here on the inside of the track there's these little pins that run stick up and down like my thumb and when the flange of the wheel hits some pins it squirts a little bead of grease out on the flange of the wheel on the inside of each axle and it just loads them axle flanges up on the straightaway so when it gets down there to the curve it's less wear and tear on that track and the flange of the wheel on the axle so when it hits that curve it's less friction and less wear it just keeps the shelling down and they put this felt down it's like environmental felt but there's your track oiler yes yeah, sometimes if you're on a freight train and you're rolling over one of these slow you can hear those little pins going bing 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 let's see the hoses that lead over yep there's little piston pins that stick up and when that flange of that wheel hits it it pushes that pin down and it pumps that grease out onto the inside of the wheel but anyway that's a track oiler i was kind of hoping i'd i'd see one if we get up here to the curve i'll show you uh if if it's an older rail there may be some shelling on the inside i can show you what they try to avoid having done all right I can barely see the camera, so I don't know if I'm in the view or not. Anyway, we're up near Alta Pass still, and one of the many, many tunnels that go through. Actually, about 200 yards on the other end of this tunnel is another one. Then the horseshoe curves just beyond that. Um, I was thinking earlier about that gateway yard in uh, East St. Louis, Illinois. Uh, it was winter, uh, Christmas Eve, 1993. All the traffic out of that yard had stopped for the night. And, uh, the yard master came over to me and brought me a couple of Twinkies and, you know, Hostess cupcakes and stuff. And asked me where I was going to spend Christmas because nothing was going to be running the next day. And I said, I guess right here I got plenty of firewood. And, uh... So he did. Well, I get off at midnight. Why don't you come up to the yard tower with me? And so we loaded loaded me up and took me to the yard tower. And he said, "Just set your duffel bag there by the door where you come in." And I'm like, "Man, that bull sees that. He's gonna ask me, or you, or somebody. He's gonna ask where that came from." 
But I go, oh, damn, dude. Ain't got to worry about the bull. And sure enough, five minutes later, he came in, looked dead at me, but he didn't say anything. But, yeah, that bull ended up giving me one of these, these are locomotive keys. He ended up giving me one, and I had for about a month before I lost it. And um, he ended up, he said, why don't you come home with me? I live down in Elmo, Scott City, Missouri. That's the next crew change down south of Dupo. And uh, so he took me, took me all the way down and dropped me off in that Elmo yard and pointed out a hot shot that was going to be going on down to Pine Bluff later, down to Dallas eventually. But, uh, yeah, I just, just had thought of that story while I was digging around in my pockets when I felt them keys. But, uh, yeah, I had to park my camera on the edge of that rock. Yeah, this, let me try to zoom in here and see if I can get a look at that other tunnel on the other side. The contrast is so, see that second tunnel down there? There's a siding not far from here I'm hoping to catch a train out of. I'll eventually get something, but you know, it's not, it's not bothering me none to take a couple of days to catch out. Uh... Because I'm taking it slow, slowly getting back in into the physical activity. That way I don't overdo it. But, uh, take a walk through, see how cool it is inside. Yeah, I'm hoping maybe something will pull in the side. And the siding looks pretty well used. And even with my hearing being so bad, I'll be able to hear a train from a long ways echoing through these hollers. Yeah, it comes in so far and turns back into the old bedrock. I think that's just for cosmetic reasons, that tunnel there, the way the concrete is. But on the edge of the rocks, it could, could be to help keep them from crumbling as bad on the edges. <laughs> well, it's amazing how they did this by hand. Yeah, I went around on that curve back behind me and uh, it wasn't sharp enough to do a demonstration of that wear and tear and shelling after the track oiler. Boy, you'd almost need a hard hat in here. But if something doesn't stop in the siding by tonight, I'll, I'll just go, go back to the yard. But I think I'm pretty well fit enough to judge I can jump back into it because when you get off the rails for a couple of weeks or three weeks and you ain't carried your gear, I'm telling you, you you lose muscle mass. You and I lost a lot. I had to put two more notches in my belt. I'm down to 193 pounds from 203, so I've lost a lot of weight. I've been drinking a lot of them insurers. And Ovaltine, instead of using milk, I've just put Ovaltine in water. But you can see where they had a rock slide, probably the last rain. I don't think they had to send anybody out to move it. You can see where it fell from. Probably right there, right there where the camera's pointed. But there's usually a date up here, but... Uh, there was one earlier, it said 1914, so, anyway, I'm just doing a little demonstration of Alta Pass area and the Horseshoe Curve, I hope, hope it comes within daylight, that way I can film going up through that Horseshoe Curve. Alright, at mile, CSX mile 194, and... Looks like they may have had a derail coming into the tunnel here and the cars went off to the left. You can see where that concrete's just shattered off to the side there. I'd almost bet that was caused by a derail. Not a bad one, but the car come off and hit that anyway. But they got some water trickling down from above. Fill your water bottle up. 
We're just on the other side of that tunnel in that last clip. Man, I hope a train comes. Got up really high where you can see now. Like a orchard of some type. Smoky Mountains. Yeah, tracks are just just below the hill here. We're up about four thousand foot. Be back out here. Yeah, the tracks are just right down there. Well getting towards the end of the day now uh, still haven't caught anything everything's going by a bit too fast uh, there was one that did hit the siding down from where I was but not the siding and that's okay I'm just taking gradual steps uh, into activity because if I if I go back out there and ride all in one day it's gonna uh, knock my health back down so I'm just taking it easy and that's fine but my next step will be tomorrow to ride uh, I'm just gonna go down to one of my old hops and uh, and do it uh, I'll be able to catch out tomorrow that's for sure but I figured I'd go ahead and uh, get this video up uh, that way y'all have something to watch and kind of catch up on what's going on but uh Anyway, uh, tomorrow will be the day uh, I catch out. Uh, at least I kind of know where I'm, I stand. Uh, so, tomorrow's the uh, ride day. So, the riding, riding videos will be uh, the next video, not this one. Alright, I hope y'all liked the informative video this one had to, had to bring this time. I kind of looked out there with that track oiler and that defect detector being all in one video anyway uh hope y'all enjoyed